Uh, he's already on to his backside. Well, he's not far behind. Close. It's going to be close. Cheer on your Lumberjacks. Who's going to win? Back in the olden days, lumberjacks would work sometimes 16 hour days out in the woods. Obviously when they came home, they'd be very tired. And they didn't want to have to do the chores that they would have to do when they came home. So those chores would be like cleaning out the latrines, cleaning out the ox barn, doing dishes. Now obviously there's lumberjacks that want to do that, so they came up with competitions to decide who would have to do all the chores. One of those competitions was axe throwing. You can see Willie over there has that double bitted axe. He's going to take that over his head, throw it at that target. Now that center bullseye is worth five points. The next ring is worth four, and then three, three two, one, two, two one, one, go. Jazz with a three, Tristan with a two, and that's a one point lead for Camp Kilborn. Gonna run that back and forth. And this was used back in the olden days for, uh, for a better efficient day on the woods. Lumber jacks were able to cut about eight times as much wood. Now that was awesome for the lumber barons. They made a lot more money, but for the lumber jacks, it was much more miserable. This saw was known to bounce out, bind up, twist in the wood, oftentimes cut the lumberjacks, and it made for a dangerous day out in the woods. We're gonna fly through that wood cookie. They're almost done. Jazz is already onto his backside. He is ripping through that log. Tristan not far behind. Taking those accurate, precise blows. Now Chaz is working hard through that log. One more hand off the tongue. You guys have Chaz Haas. Lumberjacks ready. Three, two, one, go! Take a two by four with a horseshoe on the end. You chop a pocket in the tree and then mount that springboard and then climb up as high as they needed to get to that better wood where they could chop down the tree. Now Lumberjacks are going to jump up onto that second board and they're going to proceed to chop down that block. Now for our competition today, in order to make it a legal chop, our Lumberjacks have to cut through the front side and then turn around and chop through the back side. And if they don't do that, they slab off their block, they will be disqualified. Two great cuts going on right now. Jazz and Willie both putting in those power chops, taking out a lot of wood. Jazz is having an awesome chop. He's almost all the way through his block. Yes, he got the ball. Awesome. You guys might want to get your cameras out, record this. If you can do it, I'll put on some real details.
there than saving or losing their lives. Now Lumberjacks are going to move this equipment around back in the pond behind me. And as they do that, I'm going to talk to you guys about our next event. That's known as boom running. It's one of the hardest events that our Lumberjacks are going to do today. Now the reason it's so hard is because back in the olden days, when Lumberjacks did this for a living, they would tie a string of booms together and they would wrap around all the other logs once they threw it in the river to take it down to the sawmill pond. Now when they do that, oftentimes the booms would break, there was a lot of pressure with the logs. So they'd send out the boom runners with their axes or saws, sometimes even sticks of dynamite to break up the logs, blast them apart, get them moving down the river again. Now this is very dangerous. <laughs> Jasmine get all the way across that six points. Right. And now coming back, we have Chaz and Willie. Three, two, one, go! Chaz and Willie! Back in those olden days, lumberjacks would take to the icy river with a canoe and anything they could find, a piece of wood, a branch, a shovel, and they would beat each other. Today, back in our play, battle it out for Betty Lou. It's not enough to make up for that huge lack of brain power in your role. I'd have to agree with you right now. Chaz, what is going on over here? You see, Chester, it's just not going very fast today. What's the problem with this thing? <laughs> it's not going very fast because you haven't started it. All right, up. Yeah, I could've been doing this a long time ago. Where are you going? Well, you said because it's saw to a big jerk and it sucked right off. That's not what I meant. Go on your other side. Hey, hey, go oh, This guy has a coach right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, get back up here. You're not making any friends up. What are you doing? Obviously not, Chaz. That's an expensive piece of equipment. It's not messing around. Take it, brace it firmly. Make sure it's not going to spin anywhere, twist around, and then pull it, okay? <laughs> no, don't listen to that. What are you doing? Okay, put that saw down. Get it away from your body. All right. Now put your foot in the back handle. Okay. Now switch that flip to on. All right, flip. Perfect, now pull the handle. Hey, there we go. Hey. Oh. It's about time, Chaz, yeah. All right, now you got that saw started. We're gonna warm this baby up. It's pretty clear that you inherited your mother's hips and beard. All right, now that Chaz has us all, all warmed up, we're gonna let our team over here for Newport set their teeth. Now it doesn't give them any sort of advantage, it just makes it a little bit safer. Now I'm not really sure what Chaz is doing over here. Oh, that's good right there. <laughs> what do you mean that's good, Chaz? What are you doing? Chester, you just said to set my teeth for safety, and that's what I'm doing, safety first, go home. 